hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to integrate Airtable with notion let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in notion i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Integrating Airtable with Notion can help you combine Airtable's powerful database capabilities with Notion's flexibility as a workspace for project management, note-taking and more. Since there is no direct integration between Airtable and Notion, don't worry because we are going to use several methods to bridge the gap. Now, once you are logged in to your Airtable account, if you hover to the upper right corner in Integrations, you see, if you go to the uh, connect new account, Notion is not part of the native integration or a built-in feature here on Airtable. Similarly, if you go to the if you go to the Notion integrations, click the uh, browse integrations marketplace, and if you search the Airtable here, as you can see, Airtable is also not a native integration for Notion okay don't worry we got you because now this is one of the best platforms for direct automation and that is using the zapier here you can connect airtable to notion and automate your work by connecting these apps and have all this endless possibilities if you haven't already you might want to click the sign up button and i'm going to rename the zap now if you are a fan of this youtube channel you know that we have so many zapier automation tutorials for you to check out because we are here to help you solve your problems and if you haven't already you might want to click on the sign up or subscribe button to get the latest content and notifications all right now going back to zapier first of all you need to select the event now you can choose any of these two options would you like to choose the uh, option number one, which it triggers when a record is created or updated, or it triggers when a new record is created? You have the option to triggers when any record, new or existing, is first added to a selected view. But, but this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to choose the first option. I'm going to click on the continue, and we're going to choose the base. I'm going to choose that going to choose the table and that's going to be like um class one and choose the value for now or we can set up the uh the custom value and limit the view to grid view i'm gonna hit on continue and we can test the trigger to see if it's working all right so let's skip that for now we're going to the notion instead and from here, we're going to choose an action event for Notion. Are you going to choose that it adds content to a page or creates an item in a database or creates a page inside a parent page? So it's all up to you. But in my case, I'm going to choose the second option, which is it creates database item. Click on continue. And of course, we're going to choose the database here. Going to be income content is this or name amount is maybe uh 2000 content format is going to be a uh, plain text i'm gonna click on continue now once you click on the test step all right you need to turn on the zap and after doing so you have successfully created your first zap here on zapier integrating Airtable with notion all you have to do again is click on publish and turn on the zap. You can sit back and relax because Zapier will do all of the work for you. Instead of switch switching between multiple tools, you can now view Airtable tables directly in Notion for streamlined project management and collaboration. For example, if teams are working on different tasks, for example, marketing, product development, they can now use Airtable for structured data and Notion for task management, communication, and documentation. Now, this integration bridges these tools, improving team collaboration, all right? And as you can see, the Zap 
is now uh, live and it's using version one. All right. Now you can now embed live Airtable views in Notion pages so that team members have real time access to important data without leaving Notion. Now, the next option that we are going to explore is now another popular platform for integrations here in Airtable and Notion is going to be using make.com. If you haven't already, just go to www.make.com and have this effortless boost productivity automation workflow. Now, similarly to Zapier, all we have to do is select the trigger. These are going to be the options. Number one is you can return all newly created or updated records in a view. It requires created time or last modified. You can also choose the watch responses. It triggers when a new response is submitted. I'm going to choose the first one. On in the notion, you can append a database item content or append a new page content. You can also choose the uh, create a new database as a sub page in a specified page, depending on your goals and needs. In my case, I'm going to choose the uh, first one. All I have to do is if you haven't already click the get started free option, it's very easy. But in my case, I'm going to click the login page, log into my account using Google. Wait for it. It's going to load a little bit. And voila. Once you are here on the homepage of make.com, we're going to create our own scenario or a new scenario. We're looking for Airtable here. It triggers when a new response is submitted. Choose a hook. Click that. The next module is going to be, of course, Notion. Type it in. When you see it, they'll verified. That's going to be it. Now, I wanted to choose the second one. It creates a new item in a database. Click that. And of course, we're going to enter the database and ID or enter it manually. All right. For example, it's going to be this. And click on OK. Now, all I have to do is click on this button right here to run once. And as you can see, integrating Airtable with Notion helps centralize data management, improve collaboration, you can automate workflow, and streamline project management. It brings together the best features of both tools, creating a powerful, flexible workspace that enhances team productivity and enables better decision making. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.